Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video. My name is Ed and in this video I want to show you how to resolve an OWA error for a user which doesn't seem to affect other users. Now if you're running platforms on top of um, Active Directory like Odin, Cloud Blue, or anything else, sometimes you run into an issue where it doesn't always go and set stuff to true. Services like OWA um, Active Sync, uh, Mappy, IMAP, Pop for the user, etc. So, let me show you an error that comes across, but it's actually a little bit misleading because it makes you think that the mailbox is disabled. So, yeah, I'm logging in to user one on my lab and I get a nice error. It says, Your account has been disabled. If you click the More Details tab or option, um, it says here yeah, storage account disabled, but in actual fact, the account is not disabled. So if I have to go over to the ECP and I refresh, you can see that I still have a mailbox for user one. It is still active. It's still available. If I go to my exchange management shell and I do a get dash mailbox uh, user one, you'll see that it's it's sitting on my second server and it is active so what is causing this error so let me show you so there's a command called uh, get cas mailbox and if you check the properties of this you will notice that everything is set to false if you want to compare it to an account that is working you'll notice that everything is set to true. So <clears throat> the reason why you're getting this error is not because the mailbox is disabled, but because the options within the mailbox are disabled. So what we can do is we can go set CAS mailbox, and we start with uh, all of them, active sync, dollar true, then we do OWA, Set it to true, then we set pop to true, and then IMAP to true, and then lastly, Mappy enabled to true. And usually, this takes a couple of seconds um, to activate. So, sorry, I forgot to put the mailbox in the front, that's what I was asking me for an identity. If we now go back to our login page, <clears throat> let's just go back and try logging in. Still nothing. Okay, so it does take a, a few minutes to update. Uh, the, the disabling part set by the top layer actually activates it pretty quickly, but the re enabling part doesn't seem to enable it so quickly. So let's try again. Let's just put in the dummy password. Okay, so at this point, it will reestablish itself. It will come back online again for the user. It's just what you've set is a backend request. So setting everything to true means it is, dis is enabled. So we can validate it. So it's just a question of time. Uh, I thought I could be quick enough to see how fast active directory is but obviously it's not so fast today in the lab generally stuff in the lab is very very quick so <clears throat> this is how you resolve this error and then depending on the size of your environment depending on how long ad replication will take so just a, a quick thing i want to show you that sometimes the error messages you see are a little bit misleading it's not actually that it's something else that has caused this that the user cannot actually log in thank you very much for watching i look forward to seeing you in the next video